All right, guys. All right, it is a cloudy but warm and breezy. It is a Friday, middle of the day on Friday. I think it is February 18th, 2022. So the uh, <laughs> the shed, the soon-to-be tiny house at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm is looking more and more skeletal. Hallelujah. So uh, the roof is off. The roof and the rafters and all of that. Good God Almighty. What a job. But it, uh, so what this was, all right, this was me working 10, I have 10 hours into this, and then my buddy joined me for six. So in 16 hours, we have the roof and the ceiling are off. All the siding is off. And we have uh, taken all of the, the floor is pretty much off except around the edges. So anyway, guys, we are having a, uh, not a debate really, but we're just trying to decide how to proceed. So here is the plan. All right. Especially for you guys who live at but who know bugs in a jar farm. I, I'm really hoping real lies real lies real lies is watching this But I don't know if Rob is dead or alive So anyway since I cannot find the person I need to talk to to discuss this uh, Here is the choice I need to make uh, So as my buddy says what we can do all right, th these are eight foot tall ceilings, and this is a 10 foot long, it's 10 feet long, this is eight feet wide, and the ceilings are eight feet. So, uh, <coughs> you know, my original plan was to tear this whole thing down, but what he is claiming, I, so what I'm doing is renting a U-Haul truck. And I need to make sure about the doors. And he says eight feet things will fit through. What he is advising is that I take the walls down as an entire unit. So what I would have are two eight by ten frames. I would have two eight by ten frames one uh, eight by eight foot frame and then uh, the you know a couple in in the middle but uh, and then so underneath the floor now the, the floorboards are up but when we lift the floorboards up there is a you follow me the the floor joists make another eight foot by ten foot frame so this means we would have three eight foot by ten foot frames already built and then uh, so we don't have to tear everything apart it would help a hell of a lot in tearing the thing down and then he says when I take this thing to New York I simply have to figure out how to get these walls up the side of that mountain this is going up in this is the tiny house in Piney Woods. So what would you guys do? Would you take these down in big entire frames and just load up these entire frames and then load up the floorboards and the uh, roof, which is over there uh, and over there? See, even in the roof, we got a lot of pieces that were still held together that, you know, that we didn't rip all the way down. So what is the vote? Do I take the big frames in, one, in five big pieces plus the floorboards and the rafters, or do I dismantle the whole thing and rebuild it when I get back to New York. If anyone knows how to find real lies, real lies, real lies, since he's going to be the one designing this, 
Well, I would love to hear from you, Rob, but I would love to hear from anybody who uh, has ever tried anything like this. So let me know, but it is a fine day. And uh, just kind of sending out a, a notice now. It looks like March 13th, Monday morning, March 13th, is when we are going to dive into the big kahuna which of course is the kitchen so uh, i'm trying to put together a crew i am paying 25 dollars an hour and we're going to bite into this on monday morning march 13th and just keep going till it's gone so if anybody has any interest in being part of that project Send me an email. All right. We should have that down tomorrow, and then we should have the shitter down in one day. And then get ready for the big boy. My guys.